back with another Puffco Proxy accessory review. Today we're going to be looking at the Puffco Proxy travel pipe. This travel pipe costs $44.99 on Puffco's website. I ordered it a while ago and to be honest with you, I kind of forgot about it. It was sitting in a drawer, but better late than never. One thing when I received this that stood out to me is that it's in like this pouch bag. If you follow this channel then you know that I previously purchased the Proxy Droplet and the Puffco Proxy Bub. Both of these came in boxes. This one only came in a pouch, but this was also considerably cheaper than the other options. Flipping it over to the back, there's not a whole lot going on back here. You can see what's inside though. For those that are unfamiliar with the Puffco Proxy, it basically sits in these little holders like so. So this one's gonna sit in here just like that. Let's open the package, see what we got inside. Alright, that's it. This is all that was in there. This thing is less rigid than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be pretty hard. There's a Puffco ring in here to help you keep it in place. Bottom's got a little bit of a design. I like that there's got some grooves in here which will hopefully sit a little firmer. You can see that in addition to this sitting in here, like so, you take a hit and it comes through the mouth. You also have this nice little pocket like a little kangaroo pouch of sorts. Put your swabs in for when you're on the go. That's convenient. Let's take the ring out here. You can see this is super squishy. I would imagine if someone was super savvy with like 3D printing or whatever, you could probably print something like this. I'm certainly not one of those people though. This is the fourth Puffco Proxy attachment holder, whatever you want to call it, that I've acquired. I got the first one that came with it right in here. And again, I got the droplet and I got the bub. Now I got the travel pipe. There's a few different colors to choose from. There's like kind of a green colored one, more of kind of a blue colored one. I just really like the black. It's a nice sleek look to it. I will say, and people have pointed this out on other Puffco Proxy videos that I've posted. There's a number of options out there. They're not necessarily Puffco Proxy products, but there's people out there on like Etsy and other websites that make all kinds of holders. Ones that are far more elaborate than these. Some are cheaper. One word of warning that I'd give people, and specifically people that watch my videos, I've never ordered from any of those folks, so I'm not vouching for any of them. There's a whole lot of scammers out there on the internet, so proceed with caution and only buy Puffco products from people that you consider to be reputable sources. No review video would be complete without a sampling. Whipped out the Sour Berry Cookies, the 45th strain I've seen just today with a Z in the name. That's a little thing I make fun of. No offense to anybody that cultivates cannabis or makes products that have Z's in the name. It's just kind of funny how trends start and stop in the space. It's got a decent size swipe there. Throw it on into the chamber. Let's put the ring back in here. Tuck it in there. This is gonna fit in here like so. A little snug. Two to turn it on. One, two, three, four, five to turn on the disco mode and all the fun and joy that comes with it. We'll wait for the double buzz and then we'll start gripping and ripping. Here we go. Well, it definitely hits. Two distinct disadvantages though that I can already tell right off the bat. With the droplet and the bub, obviously there's water in the equation. This has no water, so the flavor is not quite as good. I mean, it's still really good. It's just not as good as if it's filtered through water. The other thing is it's kind of tricky to know how big your hit is. With the standard holder that it comes with, with the droplet and with the bub, they're all see-through, so you can get a decent idea of what type of cloud size you're dealing with. With this, you're flying blind a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but just as it has some disadvantages, it also has some advantages over these other ones. For starters, it's much more durable. You drop any one of these three on the ground, you're toast. This one, if the Puffco Proxy's not in there, I mean, this thing could fall just about anywhere. I could throw this on the top of a building and nothing's gonna happen to it. Maybe some scuff marks, but that's about it. So you get ran over by a car, stepped on by an elephant. Well, okay, maybe not stepped on by an elephant. Basically, as long as this thing is able to keep its form, it's gonna keep on rolling. The other important and obvious advantage that this has over all these other ones is it's much cheaper. Like I said, it's $44.99. That's about half the price of this one and less than half the price for that one. One thing that I noticed, and you look down here in the fine print, isopropyl alcohol may cause the silicone to expand. This is common. will return to normal after the isopropyl alcohol dries. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're cleaning it. Obviously, that's something that's not going to happen with these other pieces. When it's time to clean this thing, I'll go ahead and make sure to make a video so that we can learn together. But until then, I'm going to take some more hits off of the proxy. I'm going to catch you folks next time. Thanks as always for the support. I'll see you later on the Higher Things Club.